Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Brother Label Printer with P-Touch Editor. We'll go through how to download the software, install the drivers, set up your media, and print from a database. Let's start by downloading the printer drivers and software. Launch your internet browser and type support.brother.com. Now you can use the search box to find your printer model and select it from the drop-down menu here. Today I'm using the TD2320 DSA. Alternatively, you can browse by category until you find your exact model. Next, click Downloads. Select your operating system, then click into Printer Drivers. After agreeing to the End User License Agreement, click Download to start the installer download. While you're here, also download P-Touch Editor, which is Brother's free label editing software. You'll find it under the Editor Tool tab. Once both downloads are complete, locate the installer files and double-click each file to start the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions, which include accepting the license agreement, selecting the model number and print resolution. Today, we're going to be printing at 203 dpi choosing a connection type, and then finalize the installation. If prompted, restart your computer. When the installations are complete, run P-Touch Editor 6. Next, I'll show you how to set up new media in Brother's P-Touch Editor software. But first, you'll need to connect your label printer to your computer via USB cable, and load your media like so. making sure to feed under the label supports. Now with Brothers Printer Drivers and P-Touch Editor installed, we can open a new label within P-Touch Editor. Then go to File, Print, More, Paper Size Setup. Click New, then click Auto Media Configuration. This should work out the dimensions, but it's always good to double check it's correct. Enter the name, let's call this kitchen label. And the size, this will be 55 millimeters wide by 50 millimeters long. If you are using lots of different media in one printer, it might be good to name the label by application so it's easier to remember. For example, best before. When you're done, click Add. This saves the media to your printer. However, if you switch to another printer model, you may need to repeat this setup. Now restart the application to finalize the setup. Back on the P-Touch Editor home screen, open the Print Media drop-down menu. Select your new media, and you will see the preview update. You are now ready to design your label template and connect a database. Connecting a database allows you to update data fields automatically from a spreadsheet. For this example, I have prepared a database of days till expiry against a list of foods and allergies in a spreadsheet. Brother Solution also allows you to color code items in standalone mode. This is done by adding another column using the exact heading on screen. Then follow this chart to color code your label templates which can be very useful to quickly identify categories of products. I have also created a label template for kitchen stock rotation labeling with fields I want to be connected to the database, such as product, allergies, prepared, and use by dates, all of which can be added using the insert bar at the top of the screen here. This may need resizing for your particular label and then formatting using the panel on the right. Next, go to Database, Open, then browse for your database file. After this, you will see your data below the label preview. Select the text field you want to connect. In this case, we'll select the description. Then use the panel on the right to connect the two by using Input Data, Select Database Field. Now, select your database header in the drop-down menu. This can also be done by dragging and dropping the database header onto your chosen field. 
For the dates, we want to have the prepared date match the time of printing. So select the When Printed tick box here. For Use by Dates, we also need to connect the database to calculate an expiry date. Select the date and on the right hand panel under Add Subtract, connect it to your Use by Date column. In this case, we're using days. Now, as you click through the connected database file, you will see the fields update accordingly. In the preview, you can see the dates and allergies change. You are now ready to upload directly to your label printer to access these labels without a PC connection. To transfer, make sure you connect your label printer to your PC via USB cable. Go to File, Transfer Template. Here, you can name your template to identify it on the label printer. The key assignment will determine the order in which the templates are displayed. For example, setting this as one will place it first on the list. Click Transfer, and your templates and database will transfer over to the label printer. Once this is complete, you should see the different items with the colors we set earlier. From here, you can print directly from the label printer with just a press of a button, ready to go, wherever you are, whenever you need. Finally, some tips to end on. If your screen is not showing in grid mode, like it is in this case, where it is showing in list mode, follow these steps. Menu, Settings, scroll through and select Home Screen. Then select Template Touch Screen. Additionally, if you would like to have the option of printing more than one label at a time, go to Menu, select Template Settings, and then turn on Confirm Print. This gives you the option to update the quantity of labels you want to print by using the up and down arrows. This option also gives you a chance to preview the label each time you print by pressing the right arrow. If you would like to make changes to the database file or add new information, you will first need to update the database file, reconnect it to the label template, and then transfer to the label printer again. Full user guides can also be found at support.brother.com. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.